Audio Jungle. Good afternoon on the National News this Hour from Baba Bagede, Imo Television. First, the headlines. Vote 15% of budget to health. Doctors urge Tinumbu. Tinumbu to attend Arab Africa Summit in Riyadh. Fala tells Akabio others ex governors to emulate Daniel Donkombo. IGP redeploys Emo police commissioner for neutrality's sake. And on sport, Gift Urban shuts down critics with sensational goal for KA agents in important away victory. I am Moriri Rabila Law, the news in detail. The Nigerian Association of Resident Doctors has urged President Bola Tinumbu to allocate at least 15% of the 2024 annual budget to the health sector. The president of NAD, Dr. Dele Abdelahi, disclosed these in an interview on Sunday while decrying the exclusion of the health sector from the 2023 supplementary budget. This was even as the joint health sector unions said the health sector was too important to be neglected in the supplementary budget. Nad and Jehesu said it was unfortunate that health sector was excluded from the supplementary budget despite its poor state. The National Assembly last Monday approved 2.18 million naira, trillion naira, beg your pardon, supplementary budget for the 2023 fiscal year. The FG said the supplementary budget was to fund urgent issues, including defense and security, as well as the provision of welfare packages for workers and poor Nigerians to cushion the biting effect of petrol subsidy removal. While decrying the exclusion of the health sector from supplementary budgets, the NAD president said, it is sad and unfortunate that the health sector was not included in the supplementary budget. The health sector is in shambles and a lot of things need to be done about the sector, but it was considered in the budget if need be. President Bola Tinubu will travel to Riyadh, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, over the next few days in what has been termed as an aggressive push to promote Nigeria and attract foreign direct investment. Presidential spokesperson Chief Ajuri in Galali who briefed the state house correspondent at the presidential villa Abuja said the president will be attending the Saudi Africa summit and the Arab African summit which are scheduled to hold on the 10th and 11th November 2023 respectively. According to the presidential spokesman, the president in Saudi Arabia will discuss several issues of mutual concern with respect to economic ties between the region and with respect to the issues of counter-terrorism, the environment and agriculture. Ngelali said Tinubu, in his capacity as a chairman of the authority of head of government of the Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS, will be taking path in the summit ensuring that he is at the forefront of advocating for deepening the partnership of the two countries. Ingenale said other areas for discussion will be in terms of accelerating the level of trade and investment between the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the African continent. Human rights lawyer Femi Falano San has urged the Senate President, Senator Godfrey Lopabio and other former governors in the executive and legislature to emulate the example of Senator Daniel and Don Combo by rejecting the payment of illegal pension forthwith. Felino, who is the chairman of Alliance on Surviving COVID-19 and Beyond, made the call in a statement on Sunday. The senior lawyer recalled that in compliance with court judgment, Senators Benga, Daniel and Ibrahim Asen Combo have requested the governors of Ogun and Gombe State, respectively, to stop paying them the scandalous pension. He commended Daniel and Nkombo, saying that their action is highly commendable at a time when not less than 20 former governors in the executive and legislative branches of governments are receiving double salaries. According to Falano, in the landmark judgment delivered on November 26, 2019, Justice Oduremi Okutuimbo, now retired, declared the payment of the pension illegal and unconstitutional. Based on the November 11, 2023 off season governorship polls in Imo, Bielsa, and Kogi states, the Inspector General of Police, RGP, Kayo De Egbetoku, has announced the redeployment of the Commissioner of Police in Imo State, Mohamed Bardeh, 
I am aware that there have been allegations on social media against the Commissioner of Police in Imo State, but for, his, for this election, we are changing the Commissioner of Police in Imo, the IGP said. There had been widespread outrage by organized labor, including the Nigerian Labor Congress and Trade Union Congress, accusing Badley of complicity in the recent attack on NLC President Joe Ajayro in Oweri, the Imo State capital, last week. The organized labor had also handed the federal government a five day ultimatum to replace the police commissioner, while also blaming Governor Ope Uzoduma, who is seeking re election of the attack on Ajayro, though the governor had since said he had no hand in the attack on the labor leader. The IGP also said the police have taken care of all the threats in the three states. According to him, mopping up of arms will be periodical before, during, and after the polls. A better concern, the police will respond appropriately to vote buying and all electoral offenses with respect to the provisions of electoral laws. Anybody found engaging in vote buying will be prosecuted appropriately, he said, adding that the allowances of policemen will be paid as when due. Troops of Operation Save Evan have successfully uncovered a dis and dismantled an illegal weapon manufacturing factory in Vom, just south local government area of Leti State. The Nigeria Army disclosed these in a statement posted on its Facebook page. The recovered items include six AK-47 rifles, four submachine guns, 11 AK rifle bodies, a pistol, and seven AK-47 brigade blocks. Others include AK-47 rifles magazines, 210 record springs for AK-47 rifles, 7 rifle both and 8 rifles muzzles, 9 piston assemblies as well as 5 cartridge housings. Also recovered were 1 drilling machine set and a hand filing machine. In addition to the seizure of the weapons and weapon fabricating equipment, two individuals directly involved in the weapon proliferation and marketing process, Michael Dong, 33 years, and Yusuf Pan, 43 years, were both apprehended, according to the army. The Oyeyemi family has tackled the Oba of Lagos, King Runweno Akilu, over an ancestral property located at 87 Dosimo Street in Lagos Island. The head of a family chief, Mrs. Morilat Onikoyi, who spoke with correspondent on Sunday, said any time the family made effort to access the building for renovation as it had been marked as stressed by the Lagos State Building Control Agency, they were being stopped by persons suspected to be at the behest of the Oba of Lagos. According to a lease agreement document obtained dated May 20th, 1989, it was gathered that the property was given to a developer to manage for 20 years and then turn it back. The agreement was signed by six persons, including the then Ojora of Lagos, Tauridi Akoni, Mustafa Akiolu, and Adedeji Arumere, as well as three others. In the document, the six persons were grouped into three groups, namely the Oluya, Adushino, and Meku. Meanwhile, over three decades later, upon which the 20 years has expired, the Oyemi family, who are also of the Arumira Chieftaincy family of Lagos, said only the Oyemis are tied to the document of the property, which is now a two-story building. The family shared the title document with correspondent on ground. We want to go to court, while people are only persuading us against going to the court. They are using unnecessary sentiment, saying the Oyemis own the property, Oniko is said. We inherited property and we have the title document of the property. You are watching the national news from Baba Bajide Imo Television. Seven personnel of the Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps have been reportedly killed by heavily armed suspected sea pirates on Bakana River in the Degana, local government area of River State. The NSCDC personnel were on pipeline surveillance patrol on the river which is about 12 km from Bakana town when they were ambushed by the sea pirates. According to credible sources in the area who confirmed the incident, said two sea pirates were equally killed in a gun duel which occurred on Friday. Information said that 29 second video clip showing the slain NSCDC personnel in a speedboat with a voice identifying each of the personnel. Two of the victims who were Muslims have since been buried in accordance to Islamic right. Though the NSCDC command in River State is yet to confirm the incident, a fisherman in the area said that everyone in the boat conveying the NSCDC officials was killed. Similarly, 
The Tarawa State Commissioner for Special Duties and Social Development, Savior Noku, has said that at least 20 bodies have been recovered from the both accident that occurred along the Mayo Reno Karim Lemido waterway in River Benway on October 28. Noku deployed these on Saturday during a condolence visit to the families of victims of the unfortunate incident in Binari community of the Karim Lemido local government area of the state. The state deputy governor, Al Aji Amino Al Kali, while condoling the families of the victims and the people of the community, expressed sadness over the incident and announced the government's ban on night journeys on waterways across the state to forestall a reoccurrence. The Lagos State Command Police of uh, Police I beg your pardon has confirmed the death of a 39 year old woman, Lillian Umariche, who drank an insecticide on Friday in the E-Wire area of Lagos State. She was said to have been frustrated with having an illness. Umariche was reported to have been suffering from a protracted illness and had been seeking a cure in a church in Iwaya, but became frustrated by the condition and drank a full bottle of insecticide on November 3rd, 2023. She was alleged to have tried to jump into a canal after drinking the insecticide but was prevented by a passersby and was rushed to a nearby hospital where a doctor confirmed her death. The police public relations officer of Lagos State, Benjamin Odein, said three persons belonging to the disease were found in her bag alongside a Samsung phone. She had been having a protective illness and visited the church for prayers. But while in the frustrating condition, she drank a full bottle of a popular brand of insecticide and was making frantic effort to jump into the canal. And lastly, on national news is a sports story. Nigerian forward Gibb Auburn has made a triumphant return to goals current form for his club, KAA Gents, in the Belgian League. Auburn, who had been facing intense criticism and criticism following a 10 match goal draw for Gent, found redemption by netting a remarkable goal in a 3 1 victory over Sporting Chalaroy. The 21 year old came off the bench to seal the win on Sunday night. Amid doubts about his place in the Gent starting lineup, Auburn had already broken his goalless streak with a goal in the Conference League. However, it was his performance against Chalaroy that truly silenced his critics. Auburn's crucial strike came just 10 minutes after he was substituted in the 80th minute. He expertly finished his right foot from the right side, finding the bottom left corner of the net. In addition to Auburn's heroics, Tarek opened the scoring in the first half and Julian Destar doubled the advantage in the 59th minute before Auburn sealed the deal in added time. With the goals, the Super Eagles invited has now tallied three goals this season for Gent in the Jupiler League, reminding everyone of his undeniable potential. Before we go on the national news, let's take a look on the headlines. Vote 15% budget to health, doctors urge Tinumbu. Tinumbu to attend Arab Africa Summit in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Falano tells Okabio other ex governors to emulate Daniel Leonkombo. IGP redeploys Emo Police Commissioner. Troops recover catching off amps at illegal weapon manufacturing factory in Plato. On sport, we brought to you Gift Urban shuns down critics with sensational goal for club. For updates of our broadcast on YouTube, our handle is Babarabagede Emo Television. Can you subscribe and click on the notification bell? Select option all to access all of our broadcasts. On Facebook, Bagede, Imo with Alawi Adebayo. Please like and follow the page. For advert place print of the goods and services, coverage of events and function, please dial the phone number streaming on your screen. Thank you for watching. I am Mo Viri. Rabi Lagawa.